sixth grade, module one, lesson 16, classwork. Ratios can be transformed to rates and unit rates. Diet Cola was on sale last week. It cost $10 for every four packs of Diet Cola. A, how much do two packs of Diet Cola cost? Let's make a chart so that it looks familiar to what we've been working on. So we have Diet Cola, it costs $10 for every four packs. So let's say price and packs. So it costs $10 for every four packs. We want to know how much do two packs cost? So what we did, we need to look at the relationship between four and two, because we don't know the relationship between 10 and the other dollar amount, because that's what we're trying to figure out. But we do know that we went from four to two, and we got there by dividing by two, because so, four divided by two equals two. So we can do the same thing to 10, do 10 divided by two, and we will get five. So we can say that two packs costs five dollars. How much does one pack of Diet Cola cost? We can do that again. Draw my chart. Money, packs. We know that it's $5 for two packs, so how many to get to one pack? Well, again, we would divide by two. And five divided by two isn't a whole number. Two goes into five two times. Two times two is four. Subtract and get one. So what we learned in fifth grade, you can put a decimal right here and just add a zero and keep going. Two goes into 10 five times. Five times two is 10. So we get $2.50 for one pack. Exploratory challenge. Tegan went to Gamer Realm to buy new video games. Gamer Realm was having a sale, $65 for four video games. He bought three games for himself and one game for his friend Diego. But Tegan does not know how much Diego owes him for one game. What is the unit price of the video game? What is the rate unit? There's some new vocab here that we'll talk about when we get to it. But first, let's just figure out how much it would cost for Diego's game. So let's do price and number of games. So it's $65 for four games. And three are for himself, but he wants to know how much Diego owes him for one game. So we want to know how much it would cost for one game. So how can we get from four to one? We need to divide by four. So let's do the same thing to 65. Four goes into six one time. Bring down the five. Four goes into 25. Let's see, four times six is 24, so it can go in six times. We're not done. I'm gonna put a decimal point there and bring down a zero. Four goes into 10 two times. That would be eight. Still not done, so I'm gonna add another zero. Four goes into 20 five times. And now we finally don't have a remainder. So it would be $16.25 for one game. We would say that the unit price, let me use a different color. So the unit price is $16.25, so that's just the answer, how much it costs for one of the games. And the rate unit is just a fancy way of saying the, basically, label. So the rate unit is dollars, because we were talking in dollars, per video game. 
So it's just basically what we had up here in our chart, dollars and video games. B, four football fans took turns during driving the distance from New York to Oklahoma to see a big game. Each driver set the cruise control during his or her portion of the trip, enabling him or her to travel at a constant speed. The group changed drivers each time they stopped for gas and recorded their driving times and distances in the table below. So we have Andre, Mateo, Janier, and Grayson. Use the date, given data to answer the following questions. What two quantities are being compared? So we're looking at what we're comparing here, and we're comparing the distance to the time. What is the ratio of the two quantities for Andre's portion of the trip? What is the associated rate? So first, it wants to know the ratio for Andre's portion. So Andre drove 208 miles in four hours. So the ratio we would just write was 208 to four. And we wanna know the rate. So we wanna know how much he was going for every one hour, basically how many miles per hour. And we can do that by doing 208 divided by 4. Four can't go into 2, it goes into 25 times. Bring down the 8, 4 goes into 8 2 times. So he, Andre's rate was 52 miles per hour. Answer the same two questions in part two for the other three drivers. So Mateo's ratio. So he was going 456 miles in eight hours. So we would have 456 to eight. And if we want to find out the rate, we just divide. Eight can't go into four, but it goes into 45. Let's see, eight times five is 40, eight times six would be 48, so that's too big. Eight goes into 56 seven times. So he was going 57 miles per hour. Now let's do the next one. That was 300 miles in six hours, so 300 to six. And if we divide 300 divided by six, three, six goes into 300 five times. Bring down the zero, six can't go into zero. So we just end up with 50, so 50 miles per hour. And the last one, Grayson's ratio was 265 to five. Let's divide. Five can't go into two, but it goes into 26 five times. Subtract, bring down the five. Five goes into 15 three times. So we get 53 miles per hour. Number four, for each driver in parts two and three, circle the unit rate and put a box around the rate unit. Okay, so we need to circle the unit rate, which is the number of miles. So there's the unit rate there, 57, 50, 53. So there's the unit rate and put a box, or there's the, yes, that's the unit rate. We need to put a box around the rate unit. So the rate unit is just 
miles per hour. Basically a description of what the number means. And C. A publishing company is looking for new employees to type novels that will soon be published. The publishing company wants to find someone who can type at least 45 words per minute. Dominique discovered she can type at a constant rate of 704 words in 16 minutes. Does Dominique type at a fast enough rate to qualify for the job? Explain why or why not. We need to know if she can type at least 45 words per one minute. But we know what they've given us is 704 words in 16 minutes. So let's divide by 16 and see how many words she can type in one minute and see if it's fast enough. So 16 can't go into 7, but it could go into 70. Um, let's try 16 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So 64, if I added another 16, that would be greater than 70. So it can go in 4 times. Subtract, we get 6, bring down the 4, and 16 can go into 64 4 times. So that shows us that she types 44 words per minute. But she needs to type 45 words per minute. So no, we could say no, she doesn't type fast enough. Because she only ha types 44 words per minute.